The difference is we don't engage in the politics of personal destruction. The fact is that if we just talk about the issues, for example, I think it would be interesting to people in these districts to know that the speaker wants to take away the guarantee of Medicare. Demonize, and then you, it, we call it the wrap-up smear. If you want to talk politics, you call it the wrap-up smear. You smear somebody with falsehoods and all the rest, and then you merchandise it. And then you write it, and they'll say, see, it's reported in the press that this, 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 and this so they have that validation that the press reported the smear, and then it's called the wrap-up smear. Now I'm going to merchandise the press's report on the smear that we made. And it's, it's a tactic, and it's, it's, it's self-evident. But I think I'm worth the trouble, quite frankly. I don't believe he's a Republican. His policies are really bad for the country. Number one, I agree with him mostly. Rocky. Along the way, he became more and more troubled by the broken state of politics in America. He has boldly shown perseverance and dedication to his cause of political reform by running for president twice with other parties. Energized by the lessons taught, the knowledge gained, and the scars left by those contests, Rocky will tell you that he has embraced the Reform Party because of its belief that if America is to be the example for the rest of the world to emulate. I'm Rocky, Rocky de la Fuente. I'm running for President of the United States, and I approve this message.